I like to clip my hair out of my face so it does not get in the way of my makeup. Something um, like this is just some land come stuff. Um, and I'm not paid to do any of this. I just, I'm just sharing what I have. And honestly, I don't know where this came from, but it works for me. Anyways, I take it, I rub it all over my face, just as a primer. Take my, this is what I, this is something new I have been using by Tarte. And it is just a full coverage foundation. And again, any tips that y'all have about any of this, please let me know. While I was pregnant with Ivy, I got this, um, dark spot above my lip and I've been using some different products to try to lighten it up but it's still there you know I'm only human what can I do it looks like a mustache this is the order I do my makeup in again teach their own I don't know the proper way so please any tips that y'all have please tell me oh, what do I do next I found this bronzer it's from Too Faced and I can be kind of funny about my bronzers because when I was younger one time, somebody, I was like on the school bus on the way to school and somebody was like, you have a line on your face. And so I never wore bronzer for like a really long time after that. Okay, I always take a Q-tip. I mean, I'm sure you can just wet it with something. And I'll wipe my lips off and my eyebrows because I don't like the other makeup to have stained it with any colors because like always get bronze or foundation in it, you know? Move on to this blush, which is like kind of a dye. And then I do it on my lips too. Because it makes your lips nice and red. Mm -hmm. Powder blush, which is from the same kind of um, bronzer that I was using. I take it and I just... Honestly, blush is an area I struggle in. So any tips about like where to put blush, what kind of use, please let me know. I like it to be pretty white on my eyes, so I'll go back over them with some foundation. Um, I like to use a white, um, or like a cream, should I say, not white. This isn't, like I'm not in sixth grade anymore. When I used to just do white eyeshadow, it was like I look like a raccoon. White, little shimmer brown. And I just do it right there in the crease. Alrighty, so when I get done doing my eyeliner, I like to, where is it? Go ahead and do my brows. So, I know this is probably not going to be a popular thing, but I actually take some of my light brown eyeshadow before the whole brow pins and everything were around, and I take it and I, oopsie, wrong. Yeah, okay, and then I take it and I just kind of lightly, lightly, lightly put it in. But you got to be careful and you kind of go back with your hand because you do not want it to look like, you know, you've got two caterpillars on the top of your head. Again, any tips about eyebrows, it's like eyebrows and um, blush are like my two weak spots. So any tips about these would be great. Now I know that highlighter is all the rave right now, but I promise you, this is one thing that I learned when I was like, I don't know, I was very young. My sister had a makeup artist and she always said, you have to find a shimmer. I mean, this is probably like 12 years ago. She said, you always have to find a shimmer and you have to put it down the middle of your nose and you have to put it on the top of your eyes and it slims your face. So I always used an eyeshadow because, yeah, because back when, um, this is back before, you know, everybody was selling all that highlighter stuff. So I always still do this because they didn't sell highlighter back then when I was learned to put on makeup, but she always said it was so important to have a shimmer. So I've always put a shimmer right down the middle of my nose and on the top of, the, of my um, eyes. I'm very, very picky about mascaras. Like it I went through a transition for probably like, I don't know, six months where I did not have one I liked. Found one that I liked, huh oh, baby. So this is um, benefits. And when I'm applying mascara, I always do my top lashes first on both sides and then go to my bottom lashes because if I don't, then I blink and I um, get it everywhere. All right, and after all those steps, um, I use this Fenty highlighter. I go down the middle of my nose with it. And then I also put it right on the side of my cheeks. And then I just rub it in with my finger. Also a little highlighter on the lips. Gives a nice little shimmer. 
Now, after I add um, as much highlighter as I personally like or however much you like, then I like to go back and do touch-ups. Like, um, of course, concealer, touch-up under my eyes, um, as well as uh, my blush and my bronzer. Also, some translucent powder. I just got this, and I don't really know what it's for. Can somebody tell me what um, people say when they're like, they say they're going to bake with translucent, with bake their makeup or whatever? What does that mean? Anyways, so lip liners are great. I do have the um, Kylie's stuff and I enjoy it, but I also like to use the SNARS um, stuff. And uh, anyways, so I'll just show y'all some of these options. My favorite one of the Kylie lip kits is actually the Coco K. Um, it's just better for like a natural everyday kind of look. And I'm really, I love lip liner because like I said, my lips are, I feel like they're shrinking. So I um, can kind of make them look how I want with a little bit of liner. Also adding a little highlighter in the inside of your eye really makes a difference. The last thing that you have to do is dry shampoo because no look is complete without dry shampoo. And we'll just have to go over hair tips another day because I have no time for that. So there you have it. That's just a little video of a quick day-to-day -day look that I do. Um, some of my tips. Y'all can share some of yours, please. Tomboy, that girl is a tomboy. Who that is, ho? That girl is a tomboy. That